There's something about going someplace that people haven't gone before that brings out the best of people. Colorado, it could be a place where things are happening that have never been done in the history of man before. LASP is the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. Our goal is to study the sun and to study the influence of the sun on the planets of the solar system. We are the leading provider of small satellites in the United States. We build rocket motors that are being used for other programs, some very famous programs like Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 tourism program. And in this facility we also build components and subsystems for some amazing programs. Uh, things like the Spirit and Opportunity rovers that went to Mars. We do space science, we do space engineering, and we do mission operations. We're seated here in an area that uh, is operating one of the new and uh, most exciting of NASA's uh, planetary missions, the Kepler mission. In the last few years, we've been developing a program called the Dream Chaser, which is an orbital space vehicle that will take astronauts and crew to the International Space Station and also do things in space, servicing of things in space that will be needed once the space shuttle retires this year. It's a true Colorado project and if things work out, we could have all the elements of that entire space system being run and managed or built here in Colorado. What we have today in Colorado is the end of about a 25-year journey by many, many people to make us a center of space. We moved from the fourth largest space economy in the early 2000s to number three. The state of Colorado and Metro Denver are both number one in the country in concentration of that employment. We have such a strong military presence and it's, so much of it is related to space. When we look at NORAD and NORTHCOM down in Colorado Springs, but also the Air Force Academy, the number of federal uh, labs here in, in Colorado. We have great universities, really focused on engineering and aerospace. So all of that kind of coming together really makes this a very fertile environment for aerospace. Our workforce has almost doubled in the last uh, two or three years here in Colorado. We made a conscious decision to come here. We have offices around the country. But the, the elements, the things that coincided here in Colorado really made it very special. You have a highly educated workforce, you have great university systems, and you have a wonderful lifestyle that's attractive to people. Here at University of Colorado and at Colorado State University, our two flagship institutions, both have developed programs around creating more uh, STEM graduates, that is, students who are majoring and graduating with degrees in science, technology, engineering, and math. So we have very strong programs. We have. Uh, a truly unique aerospace environment here in Colorado. Being close to Lockheed Martin in Denver, being close to Ball Aerospace here in Boulder. And these are the larger companies, but you, uh, we also have to realize that LASP does business with over 300 smaller companies in Colorado. We, are, um, we purchase goods and services, we purchase uh, uh, equipment from smaller companies. We have the lowest income tax of any state that has an income tax. We have the lowest sales tax of any state that has a sales tax. And we have restructured the tax system now to a single factor system, which means that if you're located here and you're making space materials, you pay taxes only on the materials you sell in the state. The Color of Space Coalition is a great organization, which I'm fortunate to co-chair, that brings together representatives from all of the aerospace players, both nonprofit and for-profit, as well as educational, uh, to talk about ways in which we can create again a better environment with more growth opportunities, more innovative opportunities for aerospace related industries. Well, some of the things that are exciting to us are the, are the FAA Center of Excellence for Commercial Space Transportation, of which the University of Colorado at Boulder is one of the core members. Recently, Colorado signed a Space Act agreement with NASA to explore having a, a center for innovation and technology here within the state. It's the first of its type. It would actually be a pilot program for the United States and Colorado was chosen as a place to explore that. We're a mile above sea level. But really, when we talk about a mile closer to space, we're talking figuratively, not just literally. And we say we're closer to space, again, because of the workforce we have and the businesses that 
have grown up here, along with, I think, the federal and military installations that support those industries and that are customers for those industries. So we just have, I think, a head start over most states when it comes to supporting aerospace industry. I think that we are just by nature so much closer, so much more engaged, so much more profoundly influencing the development of the space program in the United States. That uh, Colorado is a unique uh, resource and this, this region in particular is, uh, is genuinely closer to space than any other place in the world. Most of us have had some event in our lives that made us want to do something in space or go to space be it the moon launch or be it the, the first shuttle launch or be it Star Wars or something that really has sparked a, a passion for us. We have the, the, the essential elements in the state to be able to be successful. Government, state, education, lifestyle, health, all those things wrap together to make us more, more able to do things that are very special, very unique and very different. Almost any place in Colorado when you get up in the morning, you get to see the majesty of the Rocky Mountains. You see this incredible work of nature. And what it does, it points to the next place where we can aspire to be near the top. And that is the top of this atmosphere, the end of this solar system, and out into the rest of the universe.